Mr. Omoyele Showare and four others stand in trial for alleged criminal conspiracy, unlawful assembly, and inciting public disturbance arrive the courts in handcuffs. With the removal of the handcuffs from the defendants, legal fireworks begin over the bail application filed on their behalf. The lawyer to the defendants argued his motion, seeking for bail, but was immediately opposed by the prosecutor. The prosecutor in his submission insisted that the defendants were better remanded in prison custody, but the defense lawyer countered the submission. After listening to the arguments of both parties, the court fixed January the 8th, 2021 for ruling on the bail application. Following the complaint of the defendants, the court ordered that they be remanded at a police facility with adequate medical attention. The prosecutor and the defense lawyer, however, maintained their positions on the bail application. Um, the court has also made some other consequential orders, which is to the effect that they should be which is the effect that they should be allowed access to medical care, they should be allowed access to food and uh, proper treatments for the injuries that they were they suffered while the SARS operatives had attacked their gathering and had injured them in the process. We react to the bail application filed by the defendant applicant and the court are joined for Friday for bail ruling. With the supporters chanting songs of solidarity, the first defendant, Omoyele Shoure, narrated how they were denied food and medical attention at the Kujay Correctional Center. As we are aware, we were sent to Kujay Prison yesterday on the orders of this court. When we arrived there, contrary to what the judge said, we were not given any medical support, no food, no water. We were just put in an isolation center. Chief Magistrate Shegun Belo, while adjourning the case to January the 8th, also ordered the police to provide the third defendant, Damilare Adenola, who is a law student of the University of Abuja, with internet facilities and writing materials to enable him join his classmates who resumed online classes on January the 5th.